Hello everyone and welcome to American Truck Simulator once again and today we are going to be continuing our exploration of the great state of Texas. Currently we are in Dallas, Texas or a DFW Dallas Fort Worth as a, a lot of people actually call it and we have this beautiful outlaw Peterbilt 359 here. It is a free truck and I will have a link in the description for the media fire page if you guys are interested in it. We currently have the 63 inch flat top sleeper today, but we will be showing off other variants uh, coming here soon. But we are pulling for Outlaw Motor Freight Lines today, and we are actually going to be picking up some cattle, and we are going to be taking that down to San Antonio. Let's go ahead and start up the truck here. We've got nothing really too fancy on the truck. It's just a Cummins ISX 15 600 horsepower and then an Eaton 18 speed with a retarder. Checking out the cab here today, we got that freaking awesome old school Peterbilt cab. Got a Jeep Garmin GPS up there. We got an old school tape recorder up top or a cassette player, CB radio. Loving the old school dashboard and everything. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I think that's a speaker, Pioneer speaker back there, because I'm pretty sure there's uh, we can't see on that side. But yes, we're going to go ahead and pick up our load here. And go ahead and get on out of here. Alright, we're going to make a left. Looks like we are good. Come on, truck. Alright, there we go. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to go in and fix my settings because the game was lagging again. So, well, not the game itself, but the recording. So, I have to try to figure out what is causing it to lag and then yes can we go this way okay so i guess we can even though this actually isn't popping up on the map uh very interesting not gonna lie okay so we were on the wrong side of the road okay <laughs> there's a tree right there that we're not gonna hit I'm actually going to go ahead and go this way. Okay, so that, I believe that was one of the possibly unexplored roads. I don't know. Alright, GPS is telling me to go straight on, so we will do just that. I believe it's actually... So it is sunset. So we'll have to go ahead, once we get to the uh, shippers here, we'll have to go ahead and take our 10 hour break so that it can be nice in morning time so we can explore this awesome DLC. So yes, we are currently in Dallas as I mentioned and we are going to the city of San Antonio. So we need our lights on. Okay, so I think we're picking up at the rail yard here is what it looks like. Hopefully they open up these gates for us. But hopefully all you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I know I did. Uh, we spent the uh, day at Lauren's house with her family and stuff. So my mom's first time actually meeting them. Is, am I not supposed to go through this way? This is the exit, Adrian. This is the exit. I've seen a stop sign over there, so that's why I figured, but I think we're supposed to go through here, is what I'm thinking. Yes, I believe we're actually are supposed to go through this way. Yep, because there's the inbound ones. Okay, so we do have a stop sign here. What does it say? Stop for lane to clear. Oh, the windows do open. That's awesome. Okay. 
So lane is clear. Let's go ahead and uh, hop through the security checkpoint here. To you and start security check. Okay, this is new. We've never actually had a security check before. Okay, so we passed. We may proceed. That is uh, brand new. Never had that before happen in this game. So yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good time. We did eat a lot of food. Her uh, family did make a lot, and I mean a lot of food. Uh, I was pretty much in a food coma after my second plate. So uh, that was a fun, definitely a fun 45 minute drive home. But yeah, it was pretty fun. Got to hang out with uh, her, my future family, and then her. And it looks like the cattle trailer is going to be amongst these container trailers, I want to say. It says it's to the left. Oh, there it is right there. I do see it. Let's go ahead and turn on our flashers here. going to be right next to this yard dog. I figure this would be a fitting <clears throat> truck for this type of uh, trailer. Granted, the motor line scheme won't match up. But uh, it is what it is, man. I'm kind of glad I was recording that because I wasn't expecting to go through a security checkpoint, so that's actually really cool. Alright, so the trailer has been hooked up. We got working lights everywhere. Looks like there's uh, cows in there, I want to say. I can't really tell. Uh, no, it could be cows or horses. Definitely cows or horses. But we are going to go ahead and take our 10-hour reset, and I'll be right back with you guys. It is currently 7 o'clock in game time right now. Let us go ahead and start moving here. We do got, actually, lights on the... Oh, so they flash. That's awesome. So I was wondering, the lights weren't turning on with the headlights. I was wondering, but then you have to press your beacons, and they're basically like beacon lights. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop back in the cab here. And let us go ahead and make our way down to San Antonio. Okay, I don't... Okay, so we can't go that way. I was like, I see the arrow going the way we just came in, but there's no arrow going back, but it was hidden. Let's go ahead and close up that window. 20 mph limit speed, not a problem. We're only going like 16 miles an hour, so that doesn't really affect us in any way, shape, or form. Looks like we're going to be turning here. Turn on that blinker. Oh, we kind of screwed that up a little bit, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and take the uh, outer lane here, not the inner one. So another cool thing about this uh, weekend was that my job actually gave us the four day weekend, which fr Friday's usually like a, or which today's usually a, um, just a normal day for us at work. But they decided to give us the four-day weekend. Our actual, like, district manager said that we're not allowed to come in today. So it's actually kind of awesome that we did get the four-day weekend. If you guys know my buddy Dirty Russian out of Peoria, he actually does have to work today because we work for the same company. It looks like we have to do another security check. Let's go ahead and put the parking brake on for that. Oh. That was quick. There's really no security guards, so I'm trying to figure out how they do the security checks. I have no idea. Looks like we're going to be making a right out of here. But yes, yeah, so he does work for the company out of Peoria, Illinois. So it's a completely different district 
um, than where I'm at, because we're out of a district up north from Joliet. He is a central Illinois. Um, but yeah, he does have to work today on the weekend, and we have a four-day weekend. Which kind of crazy how it's, you know, like to the company, it's a normal work day. But the uh, district manager's like, nope, <clears throat> you, can, you can stay home today. Which I thought was pretty cool. I believe this is the, because I made two different trucks. Yeah, this is the one that is completely slammed to the ground. It looks like we're taking a left over here. Got no cars coming, going on, I uh, can't see what even interstate that is. Look at that Target trailer right there, man. That's pretty cool. At that uh, truck stop right there. Did we crash someone? No, we didn't. I do not feel my trailer tug or nothing, so there's no way we uh, crash someone. So we're going north on Interstate 45. Which is actually kind of funny because there is a Route 45 that runs right in front of my house. So seeing an Interstate 45 is just interesting. But it's the Illinois Route 45, I believe. And uh, we do have to go this way? Yeah, we do have to go this way. Okay. There's old Hogan right there. But yeah, so I do plan on using the four-day weekend to my advantage. Um, I'm hoping to actually have uh, daily uploads back this week, or this next upcoming week. And it looks like we are getting off over here. So I'm super pumped about that. We do have two out of the 15 cities to be explored. After this video, it'll be, I believe, four out of the 15 because we are doing two new cities. The game is somewhat lagging here, but that's just the game, not the recording, thankfully. Man, I tell you, from driving those trucks that are, like, all the way up to the sky, like, uh, not, like, normally lifted trucks, and then going down to, oh, looks like we're getting off here at Waco. So we are just exploring every interstate we possibly can on this beginning of this journey. We went from 45, now we're going to 394 it looks like. I think that's what it said was 394. So we are just exploring all of the interstate network in Texas. And I do want to say yes, we were out of Dallas today working that, I believe it was the BNSF yard if I'm not mistaken but I do have a video planned of us going and taking a load from NASA seeing what we can get from there because I feel like that would be a super cool video so we are not getting off on Beltline Road so let's go ahead and hop into this lane and we do I do want to explore a whole bunch of the new industries that came with Texas so there are quite a few different uh, new ones that are kind of like, uh, what's, I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. We crashed a vehicle. Well, no, we really did not. Unless I just didn't see it. Oh, so it is 335W. We're on 35W, I believe. But yeah, so it's kind of a, um, I can't think of the word, but I'm thinking it's like native to Texas or like only in Texas. Um, so we'll be exploring some of those as well. So that's 35 north west going to Fort Worth, which is not where we're going. We're going the opposite direction of Fort Worth. So yes, I do plan on trying to view these uh, different cities and stuff. I'm actually very excited. Bright Lane looks like it ends. So we're going to have to get over if we can. I think this, uh, this van is trying to, but I don't think he's going to. Well, he's going to have to either way. See, that's one of the things I kind of wish they added into this game. Was the ability for, like, other cars to flash their headlights at you. And I know we're not getting off here, so we're going to have to go into this lane. 
We have a lot of changing lanes so far in this video for this uh, journey. But man, it does look pretty nice from what I got to say. Like I said in the last video, I'm actually very impressed. Um, so, like, my jaw was actually dropping while we were driving through Texas in the last video. And I feel like this is one of the best DLCs that they've had so far. A little uh, gas station right there. I know we're going to be heading through Waco. That is one of the cities. I know for sure we're not getting off at this uh, exit here, so it does slow down to a 65, but that's all we can really do with these external contracts anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just set the cruise, if this truck even has cruise. So there it is. Yeah, like I said, Waco has been discovered. We have a Texas Roadhouse, a KFC to our right. A little bit of a strip mall to the left there. Yeah, McDonald's. I've never seen one with a white roof before. We buy gold at a gas station. Gotta love it. Oh, I think that's a... Looks like a stadium of some sort to the left there. Look at these weird... Look at these pillars, man. Those look weird. Oh, they're holding up the bridge. That's awesome. Yep, so we are definitely going straight through Waco. Ah, new road. I wonder if it's a brand new road they just put in. A little bit of a stutter as we head into Waco, or as we head out of Waco, but nothing too bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that a billboard? Okay, that's a billboard. I thought it was like a new tide plan or something. I feel like that would have been an awesome, uh, a, uh, awesome pickup or drop-off point. Oh, look, it's an In-N-Out in Texas. I don't think In-N-Out is in Texas. I could be wrong, though. I could definitely be wrong. Oh, well, we got a Denny's, and then what looks like uh, another Midas. So I think that's a, that is not a pickup point. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's an Idaho, uh, trailer over there. I think it's Idaho. Some sort of trailer. We're just blowing off the road here. Just exploring. <laughs> We're exploring, you know, just driving off the road. Nothing fancy. I'm about to hit that pickup truck. Boy's having a hard time staying in his lanes with this uh, very, very slammed truck. Not used to driving one of these, so bear with me. Kyleen and Lampasus, or however you pronounce it. That is the next exit. But yeah, so for all my uh, subscribers that are out of Texas, do let me know how accurate the DLC has been so far in the previous two videos I've showed. It is definitely not the last time we're going to be showing this DLC. Definitely not the last time we're showing this map. I do plan on exploring everything in Texas. And I do want to tr try to explore everything 100%. So I want to get every single road explored if I have to do it on camera or off camera. Or on, you know, the channel or off the channel. But I do want to get every single road explored, every single city explored that we haven't explored yet. And basically just get that map percentage up to 100% so whenever the new state comes out I believe yeah the next one is Oklahoma so after Oklahoma I'm not too sure what's going to come out after that but so when that comes out we'll have a you know a good understanding of how much we actually have to explore and all of that good stuff because I think right now I'm at like 35 or like 40 something explored or like 50 something I, I don't really know I'll have to go back in and look, but I think it's at like 40 something. Oh, so here we got Austin has been discovered now, Austin, Texas. Looks like uh, speed limit's going to a 60, but we're just gonna stay here at a 65. 
San Antonio. Keep going. But one thing I can say this weekend, if you guys are like big Mountain Dew fans like me, you're part of like the Mountain Dew Discord servers, um, part of different Mountain Dew groups on Facebook. Um, if you guys know about the new Mountain Dew flavor called Fruit Quake, which is supposed to be like the equivalent of a fruit cake for like Christmas and stuff, it is their, you know, 2022 holiday flavor. Now, in my honest opinion, I tried this the first time this weekend, so did Lauren, and I honestly feel like this is probably one of the worst flavors they have ever produced. Now, a lot of people are saying that the gingerbread one that they came out last year was one of the worst ones. I actually liked that one because I thought it resembled like a gingerbread cookie, and I thought that one was actually really good. But the Fruit Quake one that they came out with this year, I literally took one sip and I was like, nope, nope, I cannot do this. It literally has like a very, I don't know, to me it tasted very cinnamony. Like, kind of like when Pepsi came out with their Pepsi cinnamon uh, pop, but I, I just couldn't do it. And I honestly, like I said, I think that's one of the worst Mountain Dews to ever come out. And I'm hoping that they redeem themselves with their holiday flavor for 2023. Which uh, is supposedly rumored to be a candy cane flavored. Now, I am not a fan of peppermint. I never have been. Never, Probably never will. I'm not really even a, that big of a fan of mint anything. Like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I just feel like you're eating toothpaste with chocolate chips. But I'm definitely going to try it and I'm hoping that they redeem themselves next year with it because this one this year was just it was disgusting it really really was so if you guys are planning on trying it I, I mean I wouldn't recommend it but I know some people that are in the discord server and in the Facebook groups that say they like it so I mean you know but honestly to me it's one of the worst flavors out there But speaking of Mountain Dew, um, if you guys remember, I was out in Missouri in the summer. And Mountain Dew came out with their own brand of alcoholic drinks. It is basically like a sugar-free version of Mountain Dew. And I got to say, I did try it in Missouri because they were selling it out there at the Lake of the Ozarks where we were staying at. And honestly, I was not impressed it literally pretty much just tastes like zero sugar pop or soda just with added alcohol but i mean i do gotta say though with it you know being not living up to my expectations it's still not the worst drink in the world i mean granted i'm still gonna buy it because you know there ain't nothing better than getting taco bell and getting baja blasted but there is four different flavors so there is a original a baja blast a watermelon which is kind of supposed to be major melon and then there is a black cherry one which is uh, kind of the oddball out because you would think that they would have just done the code red and just do cherry but no they did black cherry which is definitely the odd one out because all the other ones do taste like their counterpart, like Watermelon tastes like Major Melon, Baja Blast tastes like Baja Blast. Black Cherry does not taste like Code Red. I'm hoping this car is supposed to take that exit because we had no way of letting him in. But here we are in San Antonio. So yes, I did try them all four. And I gotta say, um, the original is my number one. Baja Blast is number two, Watermelon's three, and then of course Black Cherry is number four. But it finally came to Illinois, I want to say within like the last couple weeks, but I have not been able to get my hands on it because I have not been able to actually find it where I am at. And it looks like we are getting off over here. So we're heading towards Corpus Christi. Yeah, we don't really have much of a Jake break. I'm trying to keep my distance away from this SUV in front of us. Because we do have that uh, shield on the hood. And it is hard to see going down at an angle. 
But according up to that lineup, I have seen rumors that there is going to be Livewire coming into the mix, which Livewire is my all-time favorite Mountain Dew. So that one should be coming into the mix of hard beverages uh, just in the Tall Boys, not in the actual 12-packs uh, that it comes in. And then there will also be a limited time Baja Blast lineup. So the pineapple and the mango will be coming in its own set. And that is a limited time offer. So we'll see how that one is. I can't get over because there is a car. All right. This fan's going to have to let us go because, uh, yeah. Okay, so we got our exit now. I think we're heading, looks like we're taking one to the left. Let's go ahead and put our blinker on. Granted, we probably didn't need the blinker, but I'm just going to put it on just to be safe. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of this video, especially, you know, exploring Texas once. Well, we done messed up. We flipped the truck and we lost the contract. So now we don't even have anything to show for it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, so we're currently out here in San Antonio. Um, so yeah. We are actually going to go ahead and take a load of Kenworth trucks up to Galveston. Because we screwed up big time. We flipped the truck. We over... Uh, judge that curve and yes yeah, so we do have about a hundred and eight miles to go to our pickup point which I feel like it's just gonna have us go all the way around because it has us going here and then probably looks like it has us turning around um, so we're gonna try and see if we can possibly make a u-turn on this interstate here of course nobody wants to let us in gotta love it Yep, see, so it's having us go all the way around just to go in. Okay, so we are having to go here. Gotta love it. Man, we were so close to, but, uh, you know, it would not be a Yo Adrian ATS episode without us getting into a wreck. I'm just kicking myself because we overjudged that curve, man. I thought it was going to be okay, but then I seen the truck start flipping. I'm just like, well... That is no good. This is a very tight curve right here, man. Okay, that is actually interesting how it just leaps back around to the other side of the highway. Loops back around to this road, but I think there's an on-ramp. Yeah, there is an on-ramp. I see the cars going on it. Alright, let's go ahead and get in this line here. So yes, we're going to be taking some new Kenworth T680s to Galveston. Um, so this should give us our four uh, cities explored. But it looks like we got a brand new train over here. Never seen that type of livery before. Interesting. It's an SD42 for sure. This way we can explore more of Texas in one video. And yes, so that kind of did irritate me just, just a little bit. But we're going to try to do better with these uh, Kenworth trucks here. We do have about 70 miles till we get to the pickup point and about another 200 or so to our drop-off point. I think this right here is the actual... No, this wasn't the one. Yeah, it was. No? I'm thinking that this one was the one that we actually flipped the truck on. No, it wasn't this one. Nope, definitely was not this one. So 
we got some apartments, the Skyrise apartments to the left there. So we got a Denny's, some probably office type buildings to the right. Convention center, okay, that makes sense. And it looks like we are getting off here as well. And I'm still kicking myself for that because that could have been, you know, one video with the two and then we could have gotten, you know, six out of the 15 done in this video, but instead we're only getting four. But it is okay. We have some more time with this beautiful 359 Outlaw truck. As I mentioned, it is free. It is a free truck. I'll have the link in the description. I like how that dude just cut me off and he starts slamming on his brakes. Like, I don't think these people understand that trucks don't stop on a dime. And we can't just, you know, brake whenever the four-wheelers want to brake because they're too scared. To, uh, whatchamacallit, they're too scared to drive onto the interstate, or actually merge onto the interstate. like we're going to keep going straight here I think we're getting off here at this exit I'm not too sure though this next one looks like it Oh, baby, we got road work ahead. Gotta love it. I don't know what that sign said, but it looked like a brand new construction sign. Alright, looks like we are all good. Let me taking a right. Oh, we got a Texas Roadhouse we can stop for for dinner. Awesome. Uh, we're going to run this light here. Hey, we didn't get docked a ticket for it, so that's awesome. Look at that trailer on the ground, that reefer. Weird looking swift trailer. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're picking up right there at the Kenworth. I'm like, am I turning here? But then I seen the Kenworth sign. I'm like, no, we're probably picking up at the Kenworth. Kenworth truck dealer has been discovered. So we got a FedEx truck over here. Uh, are we, where are they, it's, they got two new FedEx trucks over here, so it looks like it's actually in the back of the shops here, yep, there they are right there, there's our trucks. Sure we don't hit anybody else's truck here. Funny how a Peterbilt is coming to go pick up some new Kenworth trucks. I think we'll actually be good to hook on. I seriously do. I think we'll be okay. I don't have advanced coupling on or anything like that, so... But yeah, we're gonna be right on the money. Oh yeah, right on the money. We're all hooked on, parking brake's about to get released, let us go ahead and make our way down to Galveston. I think it's actually southeast of our location right now. So yes, we started in Dallas, ended up wiping the truck out in just outside of San Antonio and now we're in San Antonio about to pick up here and take this load of Kenworth T680s down to uh, Galveston so it's about I want to say it's about five o'clock so for actually 430 in game time we got the heavy rush hour traffic working for us here 
Gotta love it. I might have an opening after this uh, van here, this news van. No, I do not. I thought I did. After this sports car, we have a no, we do not, because that dude just like, nope, we're going to change lanes. We have an opening. We're going to take it. I don't care if anybody decides they want to do that, but we have an opening. Oh, we have to get on the interstate. Shoot, 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 shoot. Well, we're not going to. <clears throat> I was going to say, there was like no way we were going to get on the interstate from there. So now we have to go all the way around, which adds about 20, 25 miles to the trip. I'm just waiting on this Mayflower truck to get out of our way here. Because I think the road ends up here, and then we have to turn. Yeah, there's a bridge, so we can't actually continue on forward. Well, this kind of sucks. So, yeah, we can't continue on. Looks like other traffic can. This is actually kind of stupid that we have to completely turn around that they couldn't have just added, like, you know, another on-ramp here or something. They got a stop sign too. Do we actually have brake lights on this trailer? Oh yeah, we do, okay. Oh boy. I tell you, I'd suck driving in third person. We about flipped the truck over again. I'm not trying to do that ever again. So. At least we get to explore more of San Antonio as we hit the guardrail. Ay ay ay. This episode is not going the way I wanted it to. It seriously is not. We're all over the road. I feel like it's because of the slam Peterbilt we're driving. Because I'm not really used to driving these like slam trucks before. Oh, we have to yield to them? Oh, shoot. See, this is exactly what I was talking about where I, the episode's not going the way I planned. I feel like I just got to pay more attention to the road than my surroundings, but at the same time, it's like I do want to explore the state as well. And we just take this loop-de-loop -loop right here. That is one of the nice things, though. We do have this, like, loop here that we could just hop on the interstate with, and we can bypass, you know, getting turning and stuff, bypass lights and stop signs and whatnot. We got to merge right. But we got this cluster over here where it's going to go around. Then we're going to have to get back in this lane. Thankfully, that happened so that we have a clear shot to get on uh, this interstate here. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot longer of a video than I wanted. But at the same time, it is okay because that just means more of Texas has been explored. Even though the cities doesn't match up with what we've explored. Hey, we got rid of the road work. Awesome. But if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please do make sure you guys hit the like button and that subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys follow me on all the social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, as well as join the Discord server. And you can also add me on Snapchat as well. Everything you need to know is down in the description down below. That is a very old Ryder Rent-A-Van. don't think they have those out there anymore, but I could be wrong. Got a rest area in one mile. I believe we were following that bus. I feel like the bus stopped because I'm pretty sure we were following that bus when we were trying to get on the interstate, but I could be wrong. It looks familiar. 
so you don't got to stop at the rest area we're all good we will go ahead and turn on our lights though at least I think they're on you guys literally stop at the worst possible spots like oh a, a log truck lost its load man you know those people could have easily just merged into the other lane but no they decided to just stop in the middle of the interstate for no reason no flashers no hazards they're just stopped oh there's a cab over i seen to the left there so we got another rider uh renovan here But yeah, it's gotta love traffic. If you guys follow are following the uh, MLB offseason, if you guys are big baseball MLB fans, um, there are a lot of big name free agents that elected free agency this year, and uh, quite a few that I was actually shocked about. Big one being Aaron Judge. Um, I was expecting the Yankees to sign him back. But supposedly he did not want to sign with the Yankees again. And it was actually kind of funny because I guess it was a Twitter page for like MLB The Show. Like a parody page. And they posted a thing that said that Aaron Judge signed with the Texas Rangers on an 8 year deal. And I'm sitting there like there is no way he signed with the Rangers. Because that's the, like there's just no way. And then I opened it and then it was false. And I was like well... That was very, you know, like, I was like, well, damn. Like, I thought he actually signed with the Rangers for a second because it showed, like, it showed the uh, MLB The Show picture of him in a Rangers jersey. And I'm sitting there like, he must, I'm like, this can't be true. I started looking at the comments, and that game just stuttered when we hit that charger. Gotta love it. But, yes, I was actually looking at the comments, and I realized it was an actual fake a uh, thing that he didn't actually sign with anyone but a lot of the big name free agents granted yes it's still early in the off season nobody's really signed with anyone just yet so there's still a lot of big name free agents out there and why are you going 55 in a 65 dude you just really get into my lane just to cut me off and I can't change lanes because there's too many cars That's the one thing I hate about drivers. Where they'll go under the speed limit and then you can't do nothing because you're in a semi. I'm going to try to pass right here. Granted, there is construction coming up. I like that road work sign. That was different. Stay alert. Okay, so it's like a no cell phone engine malfunction. That's not good. So it is a 55 going through here. It doesn't say any lane is closed or nothing like that, so I think we'll be okay. Try to get back over. What is this weird looking uh, van right here? Oh yeah, we can bypass the way station. Oh, maintenance department. Okay, that's interesting. That did look cool though, the maintenance department van. I thought it was like a school bus of some sort, but no. So I know it said a lane was closed, so we're going to try to beat traffic and hop into this lane here. Oh, it's because people are turning on to the exit and they're not supposed to go on the exit. Got it. So that is closed right there. That is interesting. Oh, that's the way station. Okay, that is the way station. So I know they were saying, I believe it was with Texas or Montana, that the construction and everything is changing. So I'm wondering if this is an active like construction zone in Texas. I feel like if it is and they end up, you know, updating the map to make sure to when it's not a construction zone, I feel like that would be awesome. Yeah, we're good to get back in this middle lane here. I'm going to go ahead and set my cruise. All right. Sorry about that, guys. 
my boss had just called me and apparently I'm supposed to be on the on-call rotation this week and nobody had told me that so now I have to basically listen out from my phone anytime something happens that's an emergency and yeah so nobody actually told me I was and that was a very like kind of a shitty way to tell me that I am by telling me last minute and yeah so gotta love it got to love it Looks like we're going to be hitting up the curve over here. Getting towards Beaumont, even though we're going towards Galveston. But I do see uh, Galveston. I think we're supposed to be exiting this way. Yep, we're supposed to be going this way. Okay, so we are going the right way now. But yeah, I feel like that was kind of a shitty way to tell me, hey, you're on call, and you tell me, you know, last minute. Like, seriously? So now, thinking I had a four-day weekend, and supposedly I do not. But it is getting nighttime here in Texas, so I may end up pulling off for a little bit just to get us out here in the daytime. I'm not too sure. Depends on what we're going to do. Yeah, I may end up pulling off here because it looks like it is getting pretty dark. I don't want to flip this truck any more than I already have. So I don't know if that means I'm on call for the weekend or if I'm on call the entire week. I hope it's not the entire week because that would just be, that would give me uh, grounds to actually quit <laughs> because, I don't know, I just don't want to be the one that has to go out in the middle of the night to something, so uh, yeah, I think we'll have to go out here to Galveston, but we'll see, we will see how it goes, so now I will have to go in today and yeah. Not really happy about it, but it is what it is. I can't change lanes for you guys. That should have not been my fault, considering the fact that I couldn't change lanes and I couldn't do anything. So that really should have not been my fault. But next year, I do plan on building a new PC for myself and then giving this older one to Lauren. Um, so I do have most of the parts that I'm wanting in the PC in my wish list. I'm also checking these Black Friday deals just to see if there's anything, you know, on sale that I could pick up and all that. So, uh, but yes, yeah, so, uh, definitely going to be upgrading the PC because mine's been kind of, I don't want to say it's going, it's getting to the point where it needs to be replaced, but it clearly, there is running really slow and my GPU seems to be overheating a lot to the point where I can sometimes when I'm playing a game I hear the fans actually you know the fans will start really really going and it's it's the graphics card is like super super hot to the touch so I may end up having to redo my fans uh, my two fans I'll have to kind of flip them because I feel like uh, from what I've been told is that we put them in wrong so I don't know. I hopefully that will kind of keep it a little bit more cooler. I did have to take the glass panel off the side just to kind of keep it cool. Um, but yes, yeah, so definitely not fun. Houston has been discovered and we are going straight into Galveston. There's really not much here to explore as far as I can see. Granted, it is nighttime. Village of Tiki Island, interesting. Wonder if that's the thing right there. I don't know. Let's check 
Okay, so I think we're should be getting pretty close to where we gotta go. I think we're getting off at this next exit here, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it looks like. Uh, yeah, we are definitely getting off here. Uh, looks like we are taking a left. And then we're going to be taking a right, but we do have a red light. Gotta love it. So we're going to be, it looks like either we're taking a right or the road curves. I want to say the road curves. So I'm going to hop in. What are you doing, sir? And I tell you, we just keep getting into accidents and accidents in this game, and it is, uh, or in this video, and that is not fun. I'll tell you, it is definitely not fun. So I was right, the road does curve. I don't think we're supposed to be backing these bad boys in. I think we just uh, pull it in straight and then end the vi and then end the uh, contract. I'm not too sure though. We are making a left over here. Gonna oh, we got the arrow. I'm gonna take the arrow. That's a lot of tracks, man. Good lord. That is a bumpy, bumpy ride. Okay, so that arrow starts flashing. Okay, cool. And it looks like to the left here. Oh, we do got a stop sign though. We're gonna bypass it because I'm not worried about stopping. It's nighttime, there's no traffic around here. And then right here, it looks like. Yep, right here. So we went from one train yard to another train yard, basically. And they want it right here. At least I think this is how they wanted it. I don't specifically know. I feel like they want it turned around though. Yeah, I feel like they want it turned around. I don't specifically want it like this. But we can't can, we can't really back these uh, trailers in, so we're going to have to actually flip it around here. If I can get through over here. Now we should have taken that turn wider. All right, so we got past that Tesla trailer. Now we have to figure out how we're going to get it into this spot over here. Without hitting that yard dog. Are we in the spot? Barely. I think this might be good. I doubt it, though. I figured. Alright, so we went 368 miles for 20,817 bucks, 829 XP, and 63.2 gallons of fuel. So we got 4 out of 15 instead of 6 out of 15, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys here on the next one. Peace.